What is an MP3? MP3 stands for MPEG-1 Audio Layer 3. It is an efficient encoding algorithm used to create compressed audio files with almost no loss of quality when compared to audio CDs. The MP3 format was designed by ISO and IEC in order to deliver quality video and audio at 1.5 megabits per second. Its popularity rose with the use of online programs such as Winamp and Napster. Some common uses of MP3 files today are MPEG video, portable MP3 players, online music distribution, podcasts, and business and educational presentations. Pulse code modulation is used digitally in sampling analogy signals to store audio. It includes three steps. MP3 encodes audio data in much smaller sizes. It supports a single file. It permits the channels by the time division. Digital audio uses modulations where bit depth is the number of bytes information in each sample. By trait, it describes the quality of the audio and it is measured in bytes per sound. They are, u they are used to represent audio data. It, it's closest to the nearest sample for pulse code modulation. It can input a particular stage in, in another. It receives a pulse which is like until the 8th ring counter stage. They're not unformed in shape and consist of gate can cause exceptional problems. The MP3 format uses fast Fourier transform to filter out unwanted or unneeded data from an audio sample. The Fourier transform was designed to break down a cycle of an arbitrary waveform into its signed components. The inverse Fourier transform converts a series of signed components into the resulting waveform. Both fast Fourier transport and discrete Fourier transform are adaptations of the Fourier transform. However, FFT is an optimization of DFT. Both produce the same results. However, the FFT algorithm has been optimized to remove redundant calculations to produce results more quickly. Modified discrete cosine transform is used by the MP3 format to eliminate the blocking artifacts that would cause a problem during the reconstruction of an audio sample. MDCT is a Fourier related transform based on type 4 discrete cosine transform with the additional property of being lapped. It was designed to be performed on large consecutive blocks of data sets where parts of the blocks overlap. MDCT is a linear function that has half as many outputs as inputs and limits the source of output distortion at the quantization stage. At the end of the perceptual coding process, the MP3 runs a second compression process, a Huffman coding technique. This process is a traditional compression of all the bits in the file taken together as a whole, similar to a standard compression mechanism such as a zip file. However, Huffman coding acts at the end of the compression to code information and is not a compression algorithm, but a coding method. Huffman coding does its job extremely quickly by using a lookup table for spotting bit substitutions to create variable length codes on a whole number of bits. One of the most important issues with MP3 encoding is audio quality. MP3 compression leads to loss in audio quality. It's because of higher and lower frequencies that are considered less important to human hearing are discarded during the encoding process. The quality depends on the amount of data per second of encoding. Another issue with MP3 encoding is digital piracy. Encoded MP3s are torrented and shared illegally on the internet. This music piracy is illegal. The United States economy loses approximately $12.5 billion annually due to piracy. It affects individuals from musicians and record label executives all the way down to retail clerks at CD stores. Another issue with MP3 encoding is digital rights management. Digital rights management is intended to promote the proper use of MP3 files. 
most common forms of restrictive license agreements and data encryption. But some say that digital rights management software makes it harder for individuals to back up legally obtained MP3 files. What's in store for the future of MP3 encoding? Well, many people enjoy the quality of MP3s and the compression convenience. MP3s can be played on many different platforms. But cloud storage and large physical storage capacities could make MP3 encoding obsolete in the future. Additional information on this presentation can be found through the following resources.